how to do day end in RMS EPOS. And the first thing we need to do is check if you're running tables, check that the tables are cleared off. So I can see I've still got two here. So I'm just going to cache these ones off. Um, okay, so they're cached off. Um, if you're running multiple outlets, one thing to remember it too is that with day end in EPOS, um, it's only done on one machine and it will close the accounting date for all venues. So if you're running multiple venues like here, you only do this on one machine. So it's usually the last outlet uh, that's operating that would do this. So first we will we'll hit the log off button in the right corner. Enter password and hit close. That takes you back to the two-sided panel. Now I can close the shift um, when you open a new day or prompt you to open a new shift. So I can close this shift. Uh, enter any denominations there. Um, hit OK. I can see it get a report for how much money is in this till. So I can print that off. And from here I can now proceed to day end. You might want to run some reports as well uh, from touch. And you can do that in the reports tab, click on SIP reports. The default report will be the group wise report. And if you want to separate it by outlet, select the outlet from uh, the bottom left side panel here. Uh, if you want the titles for all outlets, just leave it blank, which is the default setting. So I click on show. I haven't done a lot here today, but you can see uh, the food and beverage breakout and the quantities of each of those sales. And that can be useful for restocking fridges and that type of thing. Further down you've got a summary report and that'll give you um, just, just a basic breakdown how many covers you did, uh, all your sales, cash credit, etc. And there's a number of other reports in there. The audit report is quite good. Um, you can do a breakfast, lunch and dinner report uh, you can also do a, a user-wise uh, collection report to see who did what as far as um, sales goes. Uh, the collection reports are quite good too if you want a detailed breakout. So once you've done that, you can exit out of that screen, exit out of that screen, and click on the day end button. Uh, click on next, you'll get this message here, current date and the next date. Select yes, and then hit save. Finally, you come to the posting. Now, this will only be relevant where you are connected to the reservation system and you're wanting a centralized accounting for the whole property. So this will post all of the uh, cash and credit and visa charges from all your different point of sale outlets and keep it all in the one package on RMS. So we click on the post button here and you want to be looking at the top right of the screen there for the OK status and click on the OK button and wait for the date change complete. And that's it, you've changed the date. And what you'll notice now when you go to open uh, the next date and click on the outlet, you can see it's prompting you to open a new shift. Start a new day. Thanks for watching.